Hey everyone, I'm Shah. In this video, I'm going to share five practical AI agents you can build this weekend. My goal with this video is to give builders real world applications of AI ranging from beginner friendly to advanced. Before diving into the agents, it's worth defining the term. While there's been a lot of controversy these past few years over what an AI agent actually is, when I talk about them here, I simply mean AI systems that can use tools to interact with the real world. For example, having ChatGPT go off and research a market for you, deploying Claude code in your development environment, or building a custom support agent and letting it talk to customers. For each agent idea here, I'll start with the business context and the problem that it solves, and then give step-by-step -step tips on how to implement it. Notion has made running a business by myself much more manageable by giving me a centralized place to organize content ideas, to-do lists, and high-level strategy. However, as the data in my Notion account grow daily, accessing it becomes more and more tedious. This is why giving an AI full access to my Notion account has been a game changer for me. The best part of this first agent is that it requires no coding and can be implemented in less than a minute. Simply go to your ChatGPT or Claude account and enable the Notion connector. Now, instead of painstakingly copy and pasting context into ChatGPT, I can simply ask it to retrieve specific pages or content from my Notion account to ground the conversation. This has significantly reduced the amount of time it takes for me to get valuable feedback from ChatGPT and Claude. After building two failed SaaS products, I've realized how easy it is to spend a lot of time building something that no one wants. To help me avoid repeating this mistake, I created a simple agent to help me invalidate product ideas before I start coding. A fast and easy way to spin this up is using Claude Code's skills feature. This lets you give specialized instructions to Claude Code for specific use cases so you don't have to write them from scratch every single time. Here's how to set this up in five steps. First, create a folder in your Claude slash skills directory called something like validate SAS ideas. In that folder, create a file called skill.md. In that file, add a name, description, and specialized instructions for validating ideas. For actually writing these instructions, I simply went to Claude and asked it, how can I validate startup ideas like YC and Rob Walling? From there, I iterated on the response until I had my final instructions. And then finally, with the skills file in place, you can simply launch Claude code and ask it to validate a startup idea. Now, instead of spending hours researching ideas one at a time, I can now spin up 10 instances of Claude code to research 10 ideas in parallel to kill the bad ones as quickly as possible. While coding agents like Claude are great at generating software, refining your application's GUI for a great user experience is still something that takes a lot of manual iteration. One way to speed this process up is to create a specialized agent that uses opinionated design principles and custom tools to evaluate app front ends. A simple approach to implementing this agent is to create an MCP server that gives an AI model everything it needs to serve this role. Here's one way to do that. Start by initializing the MCP server using the fast MCP class from the official Python SDK. Next, add a system prompt with the design principles and task instructions. To write this, you can follow a similar approach to the previous agent where we iterated with Claude based on the ideas of a specific person or organization. Next, implement a get page screenshot and get DOM tool using the Playwright Python library. Finally, set up local transport so you can run the server locally. You can then add the server to Claude code using the command Claude MCP add. As a bonus, you can create a sub agent in Claude code whose sole job is to evaluate GUIs using this MCP server. This way, you can just tell Claude to call this sub agent every time you're testing a change to your front end. An area where AI is set to make a massive impact is 
personalized education. However, when using off-the-shelf tools like ChatGPT, it's easy to drown in generic, low-quality information and hard to know what's actually worth learning. The best way to mitigate this is to build an agent grounded in high-quality content as opposed to generic knowledge from the internet. Here's how to build such a system based on a YouTube playlist using Chroma and OpenAI's Agents SDK. First, curate a playlist of high-quality YouTube videos from channels you like. Next, use the requests library to extract all the video IDs from this playlist. Next, use the YouTube transcript API library to automatically extract the transcript from each video. From here, you can split each transcript into two to three minute chunks and then store them in a simple vector database using Chroma. Next, use OpenAI's Agents SDK to create a tool for your agent that takes in a query string and fetches the most relevant chunks. Then you can craft the system instructions for your AI tutor. And then finally, bring together your custom tool and your instructions to create your agent. I walked through how to build a similar project using OpenAI's Agents SDK in this previous video. Another valuable AI use case for business is using it for content marketing. However, if you've been on LinkedIn recently, you'll see how AI generated content is easy to spot and ineffective. An approach that can help avoid posting AI slop is to build a system that can iterate on its outputs using well-defined evals. Here are the steps for building something like this. Start by uploading examples to Claude and have it write instructions for generating new posts in a similar style. Then perform error analysis to identify common failure modes. In other words, give the agent 30 ideas to generate 30 posts, manually review and write notes on the mistakes of each output, and then finally analyze the biggest mistakes. For any low hanging errors, simply fix them through updating your system prompt. But for the mistakes that aren't fully corrected, define a set of evals to test for each of them. For example, checking if each paragraph is one sentence long, if the post's hook is gonna appear above the fold, or there's no more than one M dash in the post. Next, create a function to run all your evals on a given post, then craft a feedback prompt that combines the eval results, the post, and asks the agent to refine it. Finally, run the content agent in a while loop so it iteratively refines the post until all evals pass or it hits a max number of iterations. While the architecture of this agent is straightforward, the most important part is crafting high quality evals that are actually aligned with your desired output. Since you probably won't get this right on the first try, it's important that you take an iterative approach to this project and repeat the error analysis process multiple times. AI agents combine LLMs with tools to solve real world problems. Here we reviewed five agents that you can build ranging from beginner friendly to advanced. If you like these project ideas and want more, check out my free 30 AI projects guide linked in the description. Each idea includes step-by-step -step instructions, example code, and free resources for learning more. If you get stuck or have any questions, just let me know by dropping a comment below. And as always, thank you so much for your time and thanks for watching.